While we're in the campsite, we're doing a couple of outside videos. Wanted to go over the Arctic Fox 990, some of the outside things. There's a lot of videos on, the, on this unit. I watched the many of them uh, before we bought it. I'm gonna go over uh, some things that we've done to our Arctic Fox on the outside or some storage ideas that we've done. Maybe it'll help you if you have one or you're thinking about getting one. Uh, some things you can uh, may want to copy or, or uh, maybe you don't want to do. But the, the things that we've done on the outside, uh, first of all, um, these motion lights, they're stick on. Pick them up at Harbor Freight or uh, a lot of your hardware stores. Uh, it was just a adhesive back tape um, and they have worked great. Uh, I've had them on about a year and a half now, a year and four months, and I've had no issues with them. I've got one on each side and one on the back. Um, and, uh, they, somebody comes within about 30 foot of the unit and uh, you can set it where it'll light, it'll light up that particular side. So I like that for us when we're coming back late at night. Uh, maybe you, you park the rig, uh, the truck's not on the camper, or you're walking around the campsite. Uh, it's, it helps from a trip hazard and then we also like it for the security factor. Um, the, happy, uh, the happy jacks uh, came standard with the unit. Uh, we did add the stable camper system, which I uh, did another video on. Uh, without going into a bunch, uh, this is uh, the water fill, outdoor shower, hot water heater. Uh, I did um, uh, replace the batteries. Uh, Kenny with uh, yellowskeeter.com back in Texas. If you ever need any marine work or any RV work, electronics uh, in, in, in that realm, check out his website. Kenny is awesome at what he does. Uh, not only that, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Well, Kenny, uh, yellowskeeter.com replaced my batteries. I had the uh, standard batteries, uh, deep cycle, uh, trolling motor type battery. I took those two out and replaced those with Light Pro lithium batteries. Uh, he also uh, inside changed the charger uh, system um, so it would handle the lithium and also had him put an uh, inverter under uh, the step inside with one outlet there near the sink, which we use for a, a lot of a lot of different applications, vacuum seal or maybe a little fan, uh, things like that. Uh, so it works great. Kenny did a fabulous job hooking that up, and I will tell you, uh, I had the, the factory uh, uh, solar uh, panel on the roof. Uh, I had uh, Princess Craft add two more. I've got about 380 watts of solar capability. I don't know a whole lot about batteries but I can tell you with that 300 uh, watts of solar on the roof and two lithium uh, batteries, I never have an issue. Um, I don't think in the last two and a half months I've plugged in this unit more than maybe three nights. Uh, we, we operate on battery all the time and we're always over, I think the lowest we ever got was 12.9 volts uh, on the system. So if, you work, if you're thinking about uh, lithium or regular, recommend you bite the bullet go ahead and pay for the lithium batteries go ahead and put you about 400 watts of solar on the roof I think you will be extremely happy and you won't be uh, worried about your batteries going dead on you um, I see campers all the time running their generators uh, worrying about their systems not not us uh, so thanks Kenny uh, and lithium is the way to go um, not gonna go too much uh, there's tons of other videos uh, just because this is on lock, I'll show you. We have two big uh, propane tanks. They last about, for us, the fridge runs on propane, and then I do a lot of outdoor grilling uh, on propane. A tank lasts us about two weeks on average. We just recently wanted, wanted to see. Uh, so I get about a month's worth of propane um, uh, usage out, out of my tanks. Uh, here's uh, your um, tank uh, dumps. Uh, for your valves for your, your black and your gray water system in there um, and a remote control for the, the jacks I usually keep in there and recently uh, I've been using the the, uh, the one that plugs in because I just I had a, I had a battery issue you're going to keep your your, your, your regular uh, remote control that doesn't have a hardwire plug go ahead and order you an extra set of batteries for those because they will die and this is a backup system that is fail proof because it is hardwired into the system for your jacks. I usually keep uh, some extra drill trays just in that space. And I usually keep some, uh, a bunch of extra gloves in that space. And those are just my drip pan trays uh, for my, my little Weber drill. Uh, outside, again, another one of the motion lights. Uh, I mounted the uh, toolbox. I uh, wanted it to, to fit on the step. I found it at, at uh, Walmart. 
uh, it's bolted to the top of the, the, the bracket of the bumper and in there I keep uh, some handy grab things that uh, you can do whatever you want with it. Most of the stuff in here is for Bueller or, or dog. Uh, sewer hose is in here. I have an extra sewer hose in that I, I made. It's all PVC pipe. I just hand, hand sanded it, uh, painted it black, put an end cap on this end. And on the other end, uh, I put a, um, a, a metal band on its end cap for a heat shield for the generator muffler. And I just wire tied that um, underneath the camper. I, I did drill a hole or two underneath the bumper to, to hold those um, wire ties. I uh, haven't had one break yet, uh, knock on wood, and, and it's been working really good. You can do whatever you want with that. Works great for an extra uh, tube storage. Uh, maybe you got a, a, a brush handle or a telescopic handle or fishing rods or some long handle tools. Whatever you, you put in there, uh, it, it, it can hold them. So works great. Um, I also had a measured out block underneath uh, the step. I use it for storage. 17 inch blocks work great. Uh, you can put four of those. I'd recommend going salt treated. They're a little less brittle and they'll last a little bit longer. And then in the smaller space, and I've got them on the ground now under the jacks I use, I have four of those that fit right here and they're for my uh, jack supports. Uh, in here is a long tray. I'm not going to pull it out just for time's sake, but it pulls out about yay far. Uh, they call it, uh, I think, like a kangaroo uh, tray. And I, when, I'm, when I'm off the camper, uh, when I'm off the truck, I, I use that to hold uh, not only my extension cords, uh, but also my, uh, my tie-down system. So really, really nice. Um, on the back, I just store like this uh, quick wrap tie uh, for a sewer hose. Um, angled telescopic um, mount, so for dump station uh, if I need it from time to time. Also Jill's uh, paddle board uh, paddle. Over top here, uh, I rigged, we had the WeBoost system, and I put that on a telescopic uh, paint handle. All zip tie, this is zip tie. Uh, this is zip tie too, this is uh, for my chair mail. The WeBoost system, uh, it can raise it up about three foot above the rig. And I just ran the wire through the generator box, drilled a hole through the floor on the inside, and, and mounted uh, your in, internal antennas in, in, inside the cab. Uh, and this will boost your system. If you, if you have no bars, it doesn't help. But if you've got one bar, you'll, you'll boost it up to two or three bars. So um, it, it's a decent system. Um, it, it doesn't work perfect, but it, it, it helps. Uh, we also added, it's not part of the rig, but also got the inReach, uh, it's, it's Garmin inReach. Uh, so when we don't have uh, cell phone service, I can stay in contact with friends and family, let them know we're okay. That way my, my kids don't fuss at us, so we do that. Um, going around the, uh, the, the side, um, storage bins. Again, truck camper storage is not the, the largest. I've got a ceramic heater. I've got a small pump in there for uh, uh, like motorcycle tires. I have a larger pump for the truck tires uh, compressor that I keep in, in the rig that we'll do another video on, on what's kept in the truck. WD-40 sunscreen, little odds and ends. I, uh, I do believe in keeping a small water hose for when you get close to a, the water fill station. You don't have to break out your longer hose. It makes it nice and easy if it's just short and quick. Um, I keep my outdoor shower nozzle and then I keep my 50 foot uh, collapsible hose uh, if I'm further from the water station or if I'm at a uh, you know faucet at a park and I need a, a longer hose. I keep all of that in, in a Tupperware just to keep the moisture out of the rig. Uh, a little bottle of alcohol for cleaning the rig, putting decals down. Um, that's about it in, in that space. Uh, but keep, keep it kind of simple. Um, extra uh, pods for the, the toilet, but less is more on, on all of that. Uh, but the storage bins do help keep it organized. Uh, one drawback to the 990 is you guys were considering maybe the 1140 or the 1150 Arctic Fox. You, you do get more uh, outside storage with those units. So uh, the 990, this is really it, other than that little kangaroo tray on the other side. You don't have a whole lot of uh, storage on the outside. But we found out, and we're talking about it, if we had more storage, 
we would just be filling those boxes with more junk probably and bringing stuff we don't need. So far, we haven't felt like we were missing anything and, and uh, leaving anything behind. Um, under here, I've got a rollaway crate, uh, crate uh, 45, 47 gallon. Inside of that is Jill's electric bike. When we're at a campsite, I'll uh, pull it out of the, the rig when we're going down the road. We roll it in and put it up in front of the, uh, the sink area and sit it on a floor mat and it stays put. Um, and that hadn't been an issue, but to get it out of the camper, we, we usually just throw it under here for rainy days. And I believe that's probably about it that we've added to the outside. I just want to do a real quick um, uh, video of what we did to the outside to maybe the, to make our life better and some changes that we made. Um, maybe uh, some of these items will, you know, that we did will help you out if, if, you, if you've got an Arctic Fox 990 or you're thinking about getting one. Love the unit. The, uh, it's tough. It's been bulletproof for us. Um, Arctic Fox makes a great truck camper. Um, if you if you get one, I, I think you'll be very happy with it. We 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 have been with ours. So hope those uh, things help, and uh, we'll catch you next time.